teeth. What is this? There you go, Cheese. I got you a friend. What do you think of your friend? Come over here. Come over here. Come down here. Here you go. Oh. There they are. They go out of the water. It's like a shark fin, like da 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 but it's cow horn. No, not you, Zazu. Not you. I have a high five? No? Okay. <laughs> I wish that was in focus, dang it. It is, um, I went to grab my phone and I picked up this instead. It is 1.50, 1 a.m. So I'm up kind of late right now. Yes, it's 1.50 a.m. and I decided I wanted to go ahead and get this video out but I was not about to go do all this. Also, I don't know if that was just out of focus. I'm sorry if it was. There's two things going on in this video that's a little different than what I normally would do. I have clownfish in my seahorse tank, which is something I've always said, do not do. Don't do it. But I probably have the healthiest seahorses I've ever seen, ever sold at a store, ever. Seahorses normally are very slow eaters. They like to graze. These guys just go for the food. So they're very quick, which most seahorses aren't. There's many reasons you shouldn't put fish with seahorses. One, that just increases the risk of disease being in the tank. Right off the bat, you're increasing the risk by adding different multiple species to the tank. Number two, seahorses generally are very, very slow creatures. They don't move very fast. So when you feed, when you go to feed, all the other fish you have in that tank are gonna beat the seahorses to the food. The seahorses aren't gonna feel as confident going out and getting food because they feel like they're gonna get attacked by these other fish. So generally it makes them starve themselves and leads to death and stress. Probably not in that order. Thirdly, they're very fragile creatures, so a lot of fish will beat them up. So because of this, you really should not put seahorses with other fish especially if your seahorses are wild caught, just don't mix it. These are captive bred seahorses, they're really, really ravenous eaters, super healthy, and I just feel confident in my ability to do this after how long I've been owning seahorses. Now, let's actually get to why I did this. So let me first off introduce my clownfish real quick, and you're gonna have some questions, I promise you. Maybe you'll think they're cool, I don't know. I'm gonna shut up and show you. So I have some long fin clownfish. They are actually bred to look this way. This isn't fin rot, this isn't a deformity, this is actually how they were bred to look. Now, a lot of people hate them, and actually, to be honest, at first I hated them too. I first saw them come out online, I saw pictures of them online, and I thought they looked crazy, neat, interesting, but wrong. Then I saw them in person and actually thought they looked kind of cool, like cooler than I initially thought. I really liked them, but they were $300 a piece. And I was like, okay, don't, don't like them that much. And I still have some questions about them. In my mind, since clownfish generally, in general, generally in general, aren't the best swimmers, that adding some long finish to them is just gonna make them suck even more at swimming. I just didn't want them because I felt like I'd be paying for damaged good, that I'd be promoting something that actually ultimately is hurting the fish. I kept thinking that for months and months and months and months until my really good friend got some long fin clownfish for himself. Now my friend has a degree in marine biology. He loves animals and would never do anything to hurt a fish. And he is really, really, really educated with his animals and knows what he's doing. So when I heard that he got these, I was a little like, wait, why would you get these? But 
I went to his house, I saw the clownfish, and they swim great, they eat great, they don't have any physical deformities, they can swim in front of a power head, they can hold their own, they were doing fine. I'm one of those people that really like to learn hands-on, so because of this I decided I'd get a pair for myself from someone I really, really trust, and just see how they go in person so I can leave an honest review about my opinion of these fish to the public. So I've had them for only a few days so far, and I already have a list of pros and cons. There aren't necessarily any pros to this clownfish in the sense of, you know, oh, they're better than other types of clownfish. To me, they are the exact same, they act the exact same, they don't even seem to notice their extra finage, they swim fine, they get around fine. As far as my friends tell me, they do great with breeding, they aren't having any issues with breeding. Everyone says it's unnatural. Well, there are a lot of types of clownfish out there that are unnatural, but at the same time, there aren't any that are unnatural. I know that sounds really confusing, but nothing was added to any of these clownfish to make them the way they are. They weren't like genetically and modified by being injected with this and that. These are, this is literally the process of breeding and then breeding and breeding and breeding and breeding until you come up with this new crazy color, with this new crazy design. From what I have read, longfin clownfish were the product of just breeding clownfish that had a little extra finish and doing it over and over and over again until it came out to this. So unnatural in the sense of where you normally wouldn't find them in the wild, yes, but unnatural in the sense of they were genetically modified or something. No. There are clownfish out there called stub or nub tail clownfish where they literally breed the clownfish over and over that are born missing vertebrae, where they literally breed them over and over, the messed up ones, the genetically, the ones that are born wrong, they breed over and over and they created this whole new morph called the nub tail clownfish where they're literally missing part of their tail. To me that's bad because how are they, this was literally a deformity and you have made it a thing. Then again you could say the same about longfin clownfish. Basically my bottom line is this, as long as these morphs of clownfish aren't affecting their life they're just as much of another morph as a color morph in my opinion but the second I start seeing their quality of life affected by their morph that's when I start thinking it's wrong I am NOT saying I promote this I'm not saying I promote long fin clownfish that I think they're great or amazing I'm saying I wanted to try it hands-on being the kind of person I am and just see how they are so I can give a proper opinion I'm gonna do an update video later on explaining how my experience goes with them as the months pass on but for the few days I've had them so far the only thing I've noticed is their fins are gonna get nipped a lot easier than regular clownfish. My puffer beat these clownfish up, like nipped their fins like there was no tomorrow, which he never did with my last pair of clownfish. My last pair of clownfish did not pair up successfully, so I rehomed them both to separate people. Please keep in mind that these guys actually do have nipped fins. They're missing some of their finish because my puffer went to town on them. So keep in mind that their fins actually normally are a little longer than this. Basically what I'm saying is don't think this is me supporting them or not not supporting them. I'm kind of just up in the air right now. I do have things I don't like about them, but I don't think that they're like cruel and awful. And maybe in the future I'll even try breeding them and seeing how that goes. I will keep you guys updated and let you know how well these guys do in their lifespan because no one even knows how long they live yet because they're such a new creation. Here's cheese in the night. Hi cheese. Nighttime cheese is a little darker than daytime cheese. Okay cheese, you're getting a little too close. Nighttime cheese is uh, Zazu, what are you doing? Get away. Nighttime cheese likes to darken up a little bit. Stale, no not stale, rotten, moldy cheese. There we go, moldy cheese. Yeah, I'm talking about you. He doesn't really care about fame at night. Anyway guys, just let me know what you think about the clownfish. I'm gonna go to bed. It is now 2.35 a.m. I love doing this to my life. It's just great. I'm gonna go to bed. Good night, or good morning, or good evening, or whenever I posted this. Good 
life. Here's some other videos to check out. There's some other videos to check out, and uh, yeah. Is this some kind of joke? What is this?